Good afternoon, YouTube. Here we are again. I am uh, doing just a couple quick test prints um, with the new enclosure. Uh, I've already printed one uh, part for my Voron build that I'm going to be doing. Uh, this is a stealth burner. This is just the accent front cover piece to the uh, the hot end and the extruder. Uh, this is the first first shot. Did pretty well actually. I think technically the quality is actually pretty good. I ran in a little bit of I think this might be a cooling fan issue, and that might just be a limitation of uh, this particular the stock setup of the S1. Uh, this is actually a fairly complex piece to print out because of the angles and the head and everything and I notice that this section here carries on in here right around the same area where it's doing all that so I think it's probably a cooling issue but it doesn't appear anywhere else on the part the rest of it seems to be actually fairly accurate um, you know it looks very similar to, the, to a lot of the other prints I've seen there's another one here, a little bit, not too bad, but it doesn't really affect it. This is still pretty much a functional part as far as I'm concerned. I am reprinting it with a couple of tweaks to my settings, uh, and I'll see whether or not how it goes from there, but it seems to be fine. A little bit of an adhesion issue on the bed. Um, I had a few starter, um, starter prints fail. I slowed down the print, the initial print, turned up the heat a little bit on the initial prints. Uh, I did add the little mouth ears on them, but I did that on this too. So for a first print, this one actually was actually pretty, quite well. Um, so I'm just running a little bit of glue stick on there. And uh, seems to be holding up fine, uh, to be expected for that. I probably could have flipped it over and used the smooth side as well, but... Um, I just want to see if I can get it to print on the existing material. Um, I did actually print one on the on uh, this material, uh, and it stuck very well, maybe a little too well. So I won't use this again uh, for it. I still have to get these two pieces off, which I'm still sort of picking at. And this is a new surface, so. I uh, probably won't use that again. Uh, certainly not with a single layer of mouse ear. I got most of it off, and this is this is just my line test point, which of course is perfect as usual. Um, this little thing's a tank. That's all I know. I just put stuff on it, and it just prints it and doesn't care. It doesn't doesn't give me any problems. Um, so uh, we'll see how the second one comes out. Hopefully the quality is a slight bit better. But if not, this will be a functional part, or in that one will probably be a functional part. Until uh, until I actually do the, the real build and then print from there. Um, this system here is just not hot enough, I don't believe, to support trying to do a print like this. Um, the print head's hot enough, but I don't think the bed could get hot enough on it. I haven't really tried, but I think that uh, the bed really needs to be 90, 90 plus degrees. I think I'm running uh, 105 on this print. So, uh, so I don't think that one will be able to cut it. But uh, in the meantime, I'm just going to make do with what, what what goes on with this one. I'm getting right to about. Uh, I think it's getting to the point where it's going to start doing the layer that gave this print a problem because I just finished with that little groove on the left side there. So uh, then we'll go I'll check it out when that comes out, and I'll. Uh, I'll I'll update after so see you guys in a little bit all right second print is done uh, this was the first print which obviously had some sort of weird cooling issue going on inside the cup there at the top and on that band there which is roughly about where the same issues were second print I uh, made a couple tweaks to the cooling, turned the temp down, slowed down the prints a little bit, uh, fixed all those issues. Only problem that I came across with the second print was the plastic, for some reason, right there on the other side started to split. Not too sure why. It's pretty sturdy. I've 
I can't get it to flex or anything, so I'm going to leave it. It's fine. I'm not really all overly concerned about that part of it. I mean, this is, after all, just an accent piece. So, uh, but other than that, the rest of the print came out pretty good, as I expected. So, seems like the chamber, the, the chamber's working like it should. So, this is um, copper, is the color. It's a hatchbox copper. So, the color scheme is going to be copper, black, and gray. Or, uh that dark silver so I'll start printing out the rest of the stuff I'll keep this as a functional second piece uh, probably use my Dremel on it and smooth that out but functionally everything on the inside on this one's fine there's no there's nothing out of out of order everything should be should fit as it's intended this one's just quite a bit cleaner as you can tell so very minimal stringing there in that valley right there but that's to be expected considering high temp filaments it's the same thing on this one so maybe a little bit more on this one but edges and everything on the insides are quite a bit better it's kind of a weird color almost has like a wood kind of look to it I kind of like it so that's going to end up being not on this machine, obviously. This is for the, the Voron. So I'm going to start printing out the other parts. Uh, I've been printing these on the PEI Flex plate that came with this. With a little bit of glue, or a lot of glue. Um, Got to get that first layer down super flat in order to keep it on there. Uh, but this box definitely kept it real hot in there. Because when I opened it up, woof. So I don't think the heated chamber is going to be an issue. It doesn't. It's not hot enough to do anything to any of the materials. So that's a that's a plus. Alrighty. So I will um, continue printing from here the rest of the parts as I go. I also have my black. Um, I have two spools of the copper, two spools of the black ABS, and one black um, PETG. Because um, there are some parts that can be done in that material, which I can actually print on that machine. So, um, other than that, that's it. It's a little quick update. Talk to you later. Bye.